Hey everyone, in this video, I'll show how you can make 2D platformer controller with animations like this. As always project file link is in description so feel free to download and use it. And with that said let's get started. Okay so first we'll create a square sprite. And drag it on the hierarchy to create a game object and I will rename this player. Again create a game object with a square sprite and rename it ground. Now select both player and ground object and add box collider 2D. Select the player game object and add rigid body 2D. Next create a C sharp script called player movement and open it up. Now we will create two float variable called move speed and jump force and also create a rigidbody 2D variable. We will use this variable called movex to get input. Now create a method called movement. I'll set movex is equal to input.getAxis raw horizontal. This will give the input on horizontal axis for example. If we press right arrow key it will give one value, and for left arrow key it will be minus one. Now we can move our player by changing the velocity. We just want to move on x-axis, so I'll pass rb.velocity.y on the second parameter. Now let's create the jump method also. In this, a statement we are, gonna check if the player hits the space key. Now let's change rigid body velocity in the up direction. So rb.velocity equal to transform.up multiplied by jump force. Also let's assign the move speed value to something like 400 and jump force to 200. We can test this out now. So save this, and go back to Unity. Attach the player movement script to the player game object. Assign the rigid body 2D to the script, and hit play. As you can see we can now move around, and also jump. But there is a problem, if you notice, our player is able to jump in midair so let's fix that. Select the ground object and click on add tag and hit the plus icon, and create ground tag. Select the ground game object and change its tag to ground. Now open up the player movement script, and create a new boolean variable called is grounded. Create a event called on collision enter 2D. This method checks, if we are collided with some object or not. Create a statement and we are going to check if the collided object have ground tag on it. If this we can set, is grounded to true. And in the jump method, a statement will also check for is grounded. If it's true then only we can jump, and inside the, if statement, set is grounded to false, that means when we jump we are not on the ground. Now go back to unity, and let's check, if it's working, or not. As you can see now we are not able to jump in midair, but it's kinda boring without any animation so let's add that. I have imported this assets you can download this from the description. Now go to idle folder and select all sprites and, change the filter mode from linear to point no filter. If you don't this your sprite will not look sharp, and crispy it will be blurry. Do this for the rest of the animation sprites. Now we can change our player sprite so select the player game object and change sprite from sprite rendered to animation idle sprite also change the color back to the white. Right now the player looks very tiny to fix this select all the animation sprites and change pixels per unit value to 16 and hit apply. Do this for the rest of the animation sprites. Now we can start with the animation process. So select all idle sprite, and drag it on the player game object this will open up a window, to save the animation file. I'll create a separate folder for this animation, and save it there. If we now hit play, we can see, that the idle animation is playing, but our player is sinking in the ground so let's fix that. Select the player game object and click. On edit box collider 2D, now change the size of the collider. Let's check it out. Now our player is standing perfectly on the ground now. Our player is not changing direction we will fix that later. For now so let's add some more animation. After that open the animator window, if you are not able to see this window go to window, animation, animator, it will open the animator window. Here we have three animations idle run, and jump, 
Now we need to make transition between these animations. So right click on idle animation and hit transition, then click on run animation. Do this for the rest of the animation until it looks something like this. Now select a transition, and disable has extra time option open the setting, and disaffix duration also. Change transition duration to zero. Do this for all the transition. Now go to parameters tab, and hit the plus icon choose bull from there. I'll call this jump. Create another bull, and name it run. Select the transition from idle, to jump and add a condition. Do this for all the animation you can copy mine. If you want to learn more about animator you can watch this video. Open the player movement script, and create animator variable called in name. In movement method we need to check, if the player is pressing the key or, not. So create a, a statement move axis, not equal to zero then we set animation to run animation. And at the start of the movement method set animation to false, so we dot play the run animation always. Let's add jump animation also to do, that we can set the animation in the, a statement when we press key, and stop the jump animation we set the value false in the collision method that means, when we hit the ground, save it and head back to unity, assign the animator component to the script, and hit play, as you can see the animations are working perfectly, but if you notice the player is too slippery, so, to fix, create a physics material 2D, and I am going to call this player, Select the material and change friction value to something like 8 or 10, and drag it on the ground game object. Also select the player game object, and enable freeze rotation Z in rigid body 2D component. Ok looks good now. There's something I forgot Toto. We need to. Disable loop animation for jump. So go to your jump animation file where you have saved it and disable loop time. Hit play. And everything is working fine now. Now we can change our player directions. So open the player movement cert, and create a new method called flip, and add this method inside the movement method. Create a sprite render variable above. Now inside the flip method make it, a statement. Here we will check the direction so, when we press the right key move x value will be 1. Inside the statement set sprite.flip x equals to false. And for the left direction move x value will be minus 1, and set sprite.flip x to true. Save this, and go back to Unity. Assign the sprite render component to the script. Hit the play button, and now our play can change its direction from left to right and right to left. So that's it for today's video. If you like this video consider subscribing for more and comment down below if this worked for you or not.